Today was not a good day. First, we bashed our orcs tank on a rock in the middle of nowhere. And that is a big dent in our orcs fuel tank. The old lead foot over there. We have already had a scare with our orcs tank. We didn't need it getting worse. You think we have a leak on our orcs tank around that little nub thing? Unsure really what it's for. So the plan of attack is we've got a bucket of water, got our little water pump, got our metal putty, and so we're going to clean away all the gunk, and then we're going to try and repair it with the metal putty. And secondly, Kettle and I had an argument. In this video, we are traveling through the Kennedy Ranges. They are stunning. What's not stunning is the audio for our clips. It's so windy this morning. Um, yeah. Wind has been our enemy on many fronts recently. Why don't we use our mics? Honestly, we forgot. Comes with territory of being absolute rookies. That argument I mentioned before, yeah, it really didn't help energy levels at all. The plan is to get across the Kennedy Ranges and then camp on the other side, near maybe Gascoigne Junction or the campsites on the opposite side to us. That's for, we'll see how this track goes. Not quite sure what the conditions will be like the entire way through, so we'll see how we go. We could have just pulled out of this video altogether, pretended everything was fine and moved on to the next one. But we wanted to finish. We had committed to this video and we were determined to see it through. All part of the Caden experience, I suppose. In the end, it wasn't all doom and gloom. Things did get better and we did love our Kennedy Rangers visit. The Kennedy Rangers were formed beneath an ancient seabed and are located within the Midwest region of Western Australia. Only 100 kilometers or so inland from the coast, but it feels a lot more remote than this. The landscape is very arid and dominated by a massive sandstone plateau. This plateau is between 12 to 25 kilometers wide, approximately 75 kilometers long and up to 80 meters in height. A very dramatic change in height from the rest of the landscape before it. Approaching from the west, like we did, the terrain changes dramatically between dry riverbeds, oasis-like springs, rocky plain, red sand dunes, and the epic cliff faces. There's a lot going on here. In this video, Caitlin and I kick things off at Winnemere Campground. Winnemere Campground is a privately owned campground hosted on the station just to the western side of the Kennedy Ranges. The campground itself is very basic and provides an epic experience for all those who are seeking a very quiet, relaxing and remote time. We stayed here for a couple of nights before getting onto the Kennedy Range 4x4 track. The plan of attack was to take this track all the way across and through the ranges and then camp on the eastern side in Temple Gorge. And this is where we are now. Rocking this national park is very different to what we've seen so far. It's crazy, it's like it's been pinged by termites, little rock termites. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Like, you see what I mean? It's just like hollowed out and 
chowed by little rock termites. to the camera guys give her some give her a bit of love I'm gonna try really hard uh, I just get really awkward in the middle anyway I it up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway this is the Kenny Rangers people Woo! Coffee delusions have started. <laughs> We've run out of milk because someone well, didn't didn't make days. an executive decision to buy milk for one day. No, I did no. I was going to, Alan. You said no. I did not say no. On the way. Yep. I said get it, and then we can buy more on the way. Classic miscommunication. I wish, I wish this is one of those moments. I wish I had that whole conversation before because I know. I know I'm right. I know I'm well, right. I know I'm right. So I reckon we should arm wrestle to see who's right. That's not fair. <laughs> we can play cards. I was going to say, we can play cards for that win. Oh, I don't think so, bro. There's a bush. There's a bush. Wait for off the bush. Big cliff face. They're so shiny, too. <laughs> what do you want to say about the place on the What are your thoughts, feelings and opinions? Well, let me tell you. It's pretty cool. <laughs> the the what's it called? Honeycomb. Oh, honeycomb. I'm trying to think of the name. The divots in the wall that look like honeycombs are really cool. I was saying to Gordon, they look like a really fancy feature wall, <laughs> and a lot of them have pebbles in them still, which is really cool. There's a lot of a lot of um, little inlets and holes. It's really cool to look at. I think it'd be interesting to see in different it looks lights. Like honeycomb, it? Yeah, it does. Wow. I'm hungry. <laughs> Can you see that color? Might be Why is it so dark on that side? Get the shadow or something. Might be, yeah. I'll just turn it. Literally looks like a crunchy bar. It does. 
That's cool. Oh. That is cool, eh? I thought it was just because of the little holes in the wall. So they were saying these actually... these holes were made from... I just want to eat it. <laughs> these holes were made from erosion and termites. Was it termites? <laughs> oh, really? Termites? Well, termites, that termites, termites would say rock, but this isn't a termite. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we can have a look at the rock and the info. It'll definitely be erosion, 100%. Oh, I know erosion, but I I read someone... Termites. Are you sure that's, you're just not thinking of me when I said it looks like termites have taken nibbles in the wall? From no, yesterday? it says in the sign back like there. Okay, well, let's go and have a look at the sign. <laughs> yeah, so we're back at the sign here. Can you show us where your, uh, so where your termites the facts this come from? This is where from? I read wrong, okay? I skimmed over it. No, 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 no. So it says this short trail weaves through massive boulders from an old rock fall and terminates. At a se seasonal waterfall and pool. I read that somehow, like, like, glance at the sun. And I thought there was so, because of our situation this morning with the wind, uh, I've been deprived of coffee and breakfast. So, we are now, what, an hour, hour and in? An hour in? Driving. Yeah. Oh no! Two hours in, and I've had to resort to eating dried mango, which I'm actually not mad about. I bought this and I'm really excited to try it. This is from the Bum Bakes uh, store that we stopped in at at um, Carnarvon. So, I'm gonna give it a go. Okay, piece number one. <laughs> oh. That is so good. Do you want some? Oh, babes. No, the camera. Hang on. Only got one broken go. Gordon's turn. Sneak peas, eh? There's a big piece. Tastes like dried mango. Uh, that tastes good. That tastes good. Really? <laughs> Why is it moving? Stop moving. I don't know if you would have. Uh... You wouldn't have heard us up there too much because it's so freaking windy today. It felt like we are getting blown over essentially. Um, but this whole eastern side of the range is absolutely stunning. Uh, we're almost done the drive and then um, we're going to make our way back down south and do the, the little cheeky gorges. Um, and after that we'll head into Gascoigne Junction. So it's, uh, it's quite cold. It's very cold with the wind. <laughs> oh, I was freezing this morning getting out of the, the tent. Jumper. With the wind chill, it's nuts. The James Brew tent though, holy smokes, it's, it's so good. Best tent ever for wind. <laughs> Honestly, amazing what it's put up through. So come in. Mm -hmm. 